then any other question you have uh one more uh and they used to uh, ask how to uh increase the performance in angular so mm. what i used to give answer them uh, mm. first uh we can use track by in number four loop second wait, i use wait, uh, wait. so see okay then i want to ask one other question so what exactly track by does okay so uh track by uh you uh, basically uh what is does uh it allow angular to identify uh, the item in a list uh, mm. if, uh, uh, efficiently okay means what means what it exactly does have you seen that uh, no i have not seen that but yes uh, one yes. of your video i, no, I, that. Yes. I will tell you. i will tell you so try to create two for loop okay ng4 mm -hmm. without track by mm -hmm. and with track by okay okay and push something your that array okay and check the dom okay without track by it will reload all that for loop and it will render that and with track okay. by it will push only the last one so check okay. this way okay. check this so oh. yeah it okay. will help the updated you. one updated one only it will push so it will be oh. like the memorize we can say it will memorize oh. that thing and it checks it and the push it so yeah so if you give like this answer now then it will be easy to understand the interval okay okay Okay. then also we have a uh, uh, lazy loading uh, use uh, unsubscribe in a dis ng destroy life cycle so these three i used to give them answer okay any other uh, any others uh, that need to explain like uh, we have a, uh, we have a template diagram or, uh, or uh, dynamic form so we need to decide if we have a large form so we used we need to use a, a dynamic form or uh, instead of template diagram form okay okay so any other uh, uh, no okay so you can tell about pure pipe impure pipe okay correct that is more more concept then there is a angular analyzer package you can use that as well to check the what are the things over there in the bundle so it will create a dom for you and it will show you what component is taking how much of size as well correct? what is analyze analyze angular analyzer there is a web webpack analyzer or angular analyzer kind of one npm module we have npm package that okay. you can import that okay. can help you okay and uh, talking about pure pipe and impure pipe so mm. yes so you know that so how to use it yes yes, yes yes yeah okay so so let me ask a few questions related to this as well okay so now you said that large data set okay mm -hmm. so how you will handle it in the dom suppose you are getting 1 lakhs of record okay <clears throat> okay so yeah so for handle that we use a uh, pagination mm -hmm. yeah so in which we set uh, uh, uh we set uh, some value uh, that is uh, so uh, that is show at one time and uh, <clears throat> let's suppose uh, we want to say 50 or 100 data at one time and we put a pagination so uh, for the lag uh, divided by uh, let's take an example of 1000 so it will uh, create a, a 10 uh, a 10 uh, hmm. counting of 10 so when we are uh, uh, clicking on uh, next page or second page or third page it will give a data uh, accordingly got it yep mean you meant to say server side render server side yes. pagination got it okay yes yep okay so have you implemented uh, server side rendering ssr in your project uh, no okay try to create one application small application and try to do that okay yep. and uh, you forget about one common optimization technique use on push on push yep. so read about that as well okay so in your project uh, to share the data between multiple components or oh, mm -hmm. you, what you used yeah so uh, we have a uh, uh, 
three ways. Uh, first, we have, if it, no, if no, it's no. the physically. No. Okay. I'm 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 not saying about input output output event that I'm asking how you are doing in your project. Okay. Suppose you okay. have sibling components, sibling uh -huh. components. Then uh, uh -huh. apart from subject, what you can do? Uh, we have a view child. A sibling component. Uh, no, I'm saying sibling component. Not the parent child. Okay. Have so, you heard about NGRX? Uh, yes, but not you, but not used. Yeah, so we can use NGRX and all. Read about this because uh, you have close five years of experience, correct? So yes, yes. it can be expected from you. Okay, so uh, how many types of forms we have in Angular? Uh, two types, uh, uh, reactive form and template template drive form. Okay, which one is the better? <clears throat> uh, it depends on the situation. We, mm -hmm. If we have a large uh, large input box, so that we at that point of time, we need to use a uh, uh, reactive form. Uh, the reason behind is that uh, when we are using reactive form, uh, we write HTML part in HTML code and the validation we use to write in a TS file and it is uh, increased our uh, code optimization. Uh, and uh, when we have a uh, small, uh, small uh, forms, I mean, uh, logging forms. So there mm -hmm. we need only two uh, input box, a username, password, and a button. So at that point of time, you use template drive form. Uh, the reason behind is that uh, in uh, reactive form, what is that? It's a, it's a communicating uh, multiple time from TS to uh, uh, HTML file to validate, validate the form. Uh, and uh, so it, it take, uh, take some time. Uh, mm -hmm. to uh, multiple time uh, communicating between the components. But uh, when we have only two in full field, so it is better uh, to use our uh, tem uh, template iPhone. Okay. 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 So suppose you have application and you are trying to access third party API. Mm -hmm. Okay. To get the data from that third party API. So how can I get this data? Uh, third party uh, no i have no so api that we used uh, uh to uh api i have uh used uh, to gather data uh but third party i'm not aware uh, normally what we do uh we make up functions uh and uh call that uh, we use, use service, uh, that correct. we use yes, service, yes. correct yes so that's it okay third party means you can access the fake url as well correct Oh, like that. That is fine. Okay. Have you heard about progressive web app PWA? Uh, no. Okay. Read about that. Okay. So last question. Suppose uh, you have you are working. Suppose you are working on e-commerce website. Okay. Over mm -hmm. there you have multi-step form. Suppose you add to cart, then you go to the address selection, then you go to your payment selection. This is the three steps form. So okay. if you want to develop this, how can I do this? Multi-step form, I meant to say. Yes, so <clears throat> multi-step. Uh, for that, uh, uh, we, uh, we can do... Uh, uh, multi-step form uh, we we can use a nested form but uh, no not sure okay read about this have you supported dark mode and light mode themes in your project uh, no okay uh, do you know scss variables yes yes okay so what is the use of it yeah, so SCSS basically is a preprocessor of uh, CSS. Uh, it's a uh, uh, browser doesn't understand uh, SCSS. Uh, we need a compiler uh, to use that. Uh, mm -hmm. SCSS made for developer uh, to make uh, uh, make a le uh, in SCSS we don't need to write multiple uh, code. Uh, we can use 
uh, this uh, we we can use a we have a feature like a variable. We have a mm -hmm. nesting. We have a mixing. Uh, we yep. have operators. So, so yeah, yeah. Yep. Yes. So over there, you can utilize your dark mode and the light mode themes, correct? You can create a multiple okay. variables according to your uh, conditions, dark theme and light theme. So okay. try to create a small example for this as well. Create a small one application and try whatever I asked you. Just try mm -hmm. over there. So in the single code, you will be able to understand all these things. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. So that's it, Vicky. Any question okay. from you? I think uh, no. only two minutes is remaining for this video. So <laughs> yeah, so it was yeah. uh, uh, it was very uh, I mean I'm, I'm thank you thank you for uh, taking this interview. You know uh, I have uh, written one two three four five six seven eight. Uh, I, will, I want to tell a question. I, I anyways I will be publishing this video so you can mm -hmm. see already over there as well. Maybe not okay. this month. Maybe in a couple of months. Because I did not get too much time to record, son. Okay, 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 okay. Not really. So, but thank you so much. Uh, I yeah. think uh, uh, you actually the reality check uh, it's happened uh, today only. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't uh, get any uh, that much of questions uh, when I'm giving interview. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a very uh, three to f hardly three questions uh, in a JavaScript. Uh, but I knew that Angular is uh, uh, quite uh, strong in my part. Still, you have asked uh, uh, four to five questions that I didn't know completely. So it is a lot uh, to know and learn. So thank you so much. You have okay. uh, given me a time. Yep. Okay. No problem. You can ping me on Instagram if you need any help. Okay. okay. Thank yep. you so much. Yep. 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 Bye. Bye.